Hey everyone, this is CoolBHO3K, here to demonstrate my 1.5 GHz overclock on the Samsung Galaxy S2. Let's get started. So as you can see here, in Set CPU, we can drag this up to 1.5 GHz and set it to performance mode. So it stays at 1.5 GHz. Um, so the speed is actually quite stable. I haven't had any crashes yet. So let's do some benchmarking to demonstrate it. At 1.2 GHz, let's run Linpack. So we got around 40 that run, 45.8, 47.2. It peaks at around 47 to 48 megaflops in Linpack at 1.2. 2 gigahertz. So in set CPU, if we drag this to 1.5 gigahertz, we'll see a substantial increase in Linpack, hopefully. 54, 58. We peak around 58 to 59 megaflops. So that's quite a substantial increase. That's around 11 points. 10 or 11 points. 59.079. In Quadrant, we do get quite impressive results at 1.5 GHz, but let's try it at 1.2 first. One point five is actually quite a conservative overclock. I've been able to get the phone to boot at one point six, one point eight, and even two gigahertz, but it hasn't been exactly stable. I haven't r raised the voltages that much yet, though, so I'll just leave that to other developers. I will be posting the source and the binaries in the description, so you can flash it to your own phone or. If you're a developer, try to change it and try for higher overclocks or implement this into your own kernel. So at 1.2 gigahertz, we are seeing about 2896 in quadrant, which is actually kind of low for 1.2. It's probably a low run. Let's do that again. Oops. Quadrant. I was seeing about 3100 on Quadrant at 1.2 GHz. So let's test again. As you can see, the GPU in the Exynos is enough to run each benchmark at its limits at 60 frames per second. So it's essentially probably getting a perfect score on the GPU. Well, as perfect as this phone can get with a FPS cap. So that's more like it. 3106. I don't know if you can see this very well, but that's a good run for 1.2 gigahertz. Let's switch to 1.5 gigahertz and try. Benchmarks do sometimes vary uh, in their scores because of background processes, and there is always some variation. It's never consistent. So at 1.5 gigahertz, I'm seeing 39.13. I don't see if it's 
probably not very focusable. But I've I have seen scores of over 4,100 points on Quadrant. They're actually quite common at 1.5 gigahertz. So breaking 4,000 on Quadrant is really quite impressive, and they, it's only been done on phones with really heavy modifications or some cheats to the file system tests. Um, so yeah, that's a 1.5 gigahertz proce uh, processor, um, essentially. Um, the Exynos overclocked about 300 megahertz. Um, it does improve day-to-day -day usage and responsiveness. Um, so I have, again, posted the binaries and the kernel source code in the description. So go ahead and grab that if you have a Samsung Galaxy S2. Um, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.